Hey guys, welcome to another Clarity Chat where we eliminate confusion and help you grow your business. I'm Scott Evans from Gorilla360, an agency that helps you grow with smart digital marketing. Today we're gonna to talk about increasing CLV or customer lifetime value. It's a super important metric for all businesses, but in particular e-commerce stores. If you haven't checked out our other videos about CLV, then definitely go ahead and do that because we're talking a lot about it. Um, so firstly, why would we want to increase our customer lifetime value? Well, for starters, um, it'll help push your marketing return on investment higher, but more importantly, it's going to help you make more profit at the end of the day, and that's what everyone wants, right? So let's, what's five ways we can go about it? So number one, um, and look, these five things, they're not everything, they're just some really quick ideas that you guys can do to try and push your CLV higher. So let's rattle through them. Increase the average order value. So how can you get your average order value higher? Can you upsell or suggest related items? Are there add-ons that go with your products? Um, are there related products? Things like that. Number two, how are you using email to bring customers back more often or suggest upsells? So you can be using automations like upsell or reactivating old customers that haven't been to the website for a while. You might send them a coupon on their birthday. You can obviously do email blasts and promotions where you're you know, informing them about new products or sales and in new things happening in the business. Um, number three, loyalty programs have all been part of these. They're all a data collection and retention marketing piece. Um, you know, we don't need to talk about that too much. Everyone's been a part of it. Have you got an advertising strategy for existing customers? So, you know, like most of the time with our advertising strategy, we're always trying to look at how can we get more new customers in the door. But if you've got a good database of existing customers, we need to make sure that we're marketing to them. So if they're looking for similar products or other products in the future, you can be remarketing to them when they're doing Google searches or stay in front of mind with Facebook advertising, whatever it might be. So what's your ad strategy for existing customers? Um, and the fifth one, which is absolutely my favorite, which is, you know, let's get more of the ideal clients. So it's all good to go and get as many clients as we want, but could we get more of the ideal clients? So ideal clients to most people means the guys that want to spend the most money. So can you segment your database and look at who's our top five or 10% of our existing customers? How do we go and get more of those guys? How do we do smarter advertising to get more of them? How do we do email marketing to, to get those sort of guys spending more money? So there's five ways, rip into it.